This is the second video in our unit about the French Revolution, and it covers a time in France when the monarchy, or the government that was headed by a king, was disassembled, and it was replaced with a new, more democratic government. The road to the end of the monarchy in France begins with the National Assembly. If you'll remember from our first video, the National Assembly is a group that was formed with the tennis court oath. And this group made a lot of reforms or political changes. One of the most important reforms they made was on August 4th, 1789, when the National Assembly voted to end privileges for nobles. From this date forward, nobles had to pay taxes. Another change that the National Assembly made was that all male citizens could hold office. One very important document that was made by the National Assembly was titled A Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. This document was written by the National Assembly in August of 1789 and it was designed to create legal equality for all French citizens. It did not include equality for women though. This document guaranteed freedoms like the freedom of speech, press, and religion that Americans guaranteed for themselves by fighting their own revolutionary war. One of the more bizarre events of the French Revolution is known as the March on Versailles. The king refused to accept the political changes that the National Assembly made. Things like, you know, all male citizens could hold office and the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. And because the king refused these changes, many people feared that he would attack or lash out against the National Assembly. Citizens were suspicious of Louis, and they wanted him to move to Paris so they could keep a closer watch on his behaviors. In October of 1789, thousands of women demanding bread marched to the king's palace at Versailles. These women formed a mob. They were carrying sticks and pitchforks, and they surrounded the palace, nearly breaking in. As a result of this, the royal family gave in to the demands of the mob, and they agreed to move to Paris. After the March on Versailles in 1789, the National Assembly took control of the government in France and they made a lot of political reforms or political changes. One of the important changes made by the National Assembly had to do with the Roman Catholic Church in France. When the French government was short on money, it voted in 1790 to seize and sell church lands, using the profits to pay off their national debt. The National Assembly also placed the French church under government control, which turned many of the members of the first estate against the French Revolution. Another political change made by the National Assembly was a new constitution and they wrote this in 1791. This new constitution kept France as a monarchy, but it severely limited the royal powers of the king. Instead, laws would be made by elected officials in a group of people known as the Legislative Assembly. And the Legislative Assembly would be filled with males who were rich enough to pay taxes and they could vote. If you could pay taxes and you could vote, then you were able to run for a seat in the Legislative Assembly in France. Some French citizens approved of this constitution, but there were many, many who didn't. Some felt that the constitution changed too much, others felt that it didn't change enough. There were many political disagreements and the new government was very divided. People feared that a breakdown of law and order would occur, and they thought that the political disagreements in France would soon turn violent. King Louis XVI saw the political changes that were happening around him, and he knew it was bad news for him and his family. In 1791, King Louis and his family tried to flee to the nearby country of Austria, but they were caught trying to cross the border, and they were thrown into prison in 1792. A group of radicals, which is a term that describes people who wanted extreme political change, took over the Legislative Assembly in France, and then they called for a national convention to create another new constitution. At this point in history, France was undergoing lots of political changes, and they were occurring quickly. 
Because of all of this sudden and rapid change, France, their economy, and their government was becoming rapidly unstable.